Hello, everyone. It's Chris with Expat Theory. Uh, I figure I'm back down in Carlisle for more truck problems. I'd go ahead and do a quick video and maybe show you guys some of the gizmos and gadgets that I use while I'm out here on the road. Hang on just a minute. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, well, when you're out here on the road, you're going to need communication, so you're going to have to have a good phone. Um, my phone, I actually went top of the line when I bought it back in 2019. I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and I've had it since 2019. It's been doing an amazing job, um, fantastic phone. Um, I can't say enough good about it. Uh, it does everything I needed to do. Uh, I invested a little bit of money and went down and put the liquid glass on the screen to protect it. And I've had it, like I said, almost three years and it's just been kicking butt the whole time. It's amazing. <clears throat> when you're out here, you need to have reliable communications and you need to have things to keep yourself amused, and just little things to make life a little better. Now, I purchased this headset that I'm using now. It's called Aftershock. Uh, it's one that does the bone induction. It does not actually sit in the ear. It sits in front and puts the sound in. I like it. The microphone is amazing. I like the headset. However, I found in a different setting other than being in a truck which is pretty loud the open ear is fantastic i really like it however being on the road and having all the road noise uh, i find that the external noise can actually kind of override and overpower the bone induction in those times noisy environments i actually prefer the blue parrot now this is the blue parrot 550 um picked it up at a truck stop kind of a special uh camouflage pattern there that i bought these i really like blue parrots are a great product they're pretty reliable the microphone's good not as good as this one though the speaker sitting over top of the ear, much better for loud work environments. That one comes in a lot clearer. You can hear it a lot better. It's just very functional. So I tried this one out. I like it and I kept it. But the Blue Parrot could actually just do the job that you need um, without any problem. <clears throat> I prefer to use this one while recording because of the better microphone. Um, the other thing is, you know, I have the phone to do a lot of things, but I also have a nice big tablet. Now, this tablet's actually gigantic. It's one of the biggest ones I've seen. Um, it is literally the size of some people's laptops. Uh, their MacBooks or um, what do you call it? Google Chromebooks. Um, this thing is pretty amazing, actually. Most everything that I've gotten is Samsung based. This is the Galaxy Tab 7. Um, I can do everything. You know, this does everything that my phone does, but a much bigger screen. So if I want to sit around and hop on the internet or watch Netflix or whatever. It's much more comfortable to use this size screen versus my phone. And the performance on this has been amazing. And this is 5G capable. Uh, my phone is not, believe it or not. 
it's three years old. It did not really have 5G available uh, enough when they made that model. So my phone is actually still 4G. My tablet is actually 5G. Uh, it's been a trooper. I put it in a nice case and it has been a very useful tool. Uh, it's done everything I needed it to do. Easy to take with me. Um, I load it up, take it everywhere. All right, moving right along. A newer acquisition. I've just been using the speakers on my phone or on my tablet. Um, I've gotten a newer acquisition that I just got recently. It's been a nice little addition to my life. This is made by Bose. It's a uh, Bluetooth speaker, kind of cylindrical as you can see. Um, the speaker goes all the way around. This thing puts out some really good sound. Uh, I can connect everything. I can connect my laptop, my tablet, my phone, uh, everything. We'll connect up to it and just right away. I mean, it's almost no effort. Anybody old school like me, we're used to kind of having to uh, fight and finagle to get things to pair up and to work correctly. Not this. This thing, you put it in pair mode, go to the device and select that speaker, done. Rock, ready to rock and roll. And it sounds great. Of course, it's Bose. Top of the line. You know, they've always been one of the best speaker companies out there. Uh, been very impressed with it. It's done a really good job. Uh, in a really noisy, noisy environment, I wish it had just a little more volume so that I could really, really rock out because I like my music loud. Um, I'm into rock and metal. I, you know, I want to shake the windows a little bit sometimes. But for listening, just average listening, fantastic. I uh, wish it was just a little bit louder. But it's been excellent. And uh, so far, it's very much worth every penny. Um, I splurged just because I could. Um, I, I wanted a watch. But I went ahead and upgraded myself and got the smartwatch, the Galaxy Smartwatch 4. Um it's silly, to be honest with you guys. Unless you're into tracking your fitness and your health, and you know, it works almost like a Fitbit kind of thing. It'll keep track of your steps and your heart rate, and it'll do all that. And it's a watch. And it'll let you know when you're getting notifications uh, coming in through your phone. It was a nicety, not a necessity, but a nice little addition. I like it. Uh, I, I like that you can change the face. So if you get tired of looking at it one way, you can go out and change it. It's like having a whole new watch, you know. Um, I don't know. It's a nicety, not a necessity. And it's a fun thing to play with sometimes. Uh, moving right along, <clears throat> getting into YouTube. I really thought I would be using this camera a lot more. I really got into the GoPro, and I spent a lot of money on my GoPro, and I like it. It works great. I got this little stand and everything. It works great. It does have a few drawbacks that I don't like about it. The one thing I don't like about it is that you have to record onto this, then download it from this to your device, to put into your editor to post up on your videos. It can be a little bit of a time consumption issue, especially if you're just trying to make a quick video. The other thing I found, this is a great action camera. I mean, freaking amazing. When I mount this up on the dashboard of the truck, it's great. 
but it has a limited view vantage point. When you're looking at the video, you can really see what's nearby, what's close and around you, which is amazing. And it's crystal clear. But things that are off in the distance, it really doesn't pick up that well. It just doesn't show. And if you were to try to magnify, anytime you magnify, you distort. So it can get blurry or grainy if you magnify to, to extreme. So in my videos, you, you probably have noticed, if you've watched any of the ones where I've used the camera and I did the lines between the mirrors, right around me and close to me was perfect. But some of the like mountainscapes in the background just don't show up very well. You know, so it was kind of a disappointment in that factor, but I think that would be any and all cameras. I don't, you know, a camera just can't replace the human eye. And what we see as we drive around and we see all this beautiful nature out in the distance, um, the cameras just can't capture it. You know, it's a sad point, but it is, it is true. And I found a few complications with trying to find a good way to pick up things that are off to the sides when my camera's pointed forward. Sometimes you see the most amazing things out the side windows. So unless you're, you know, able to put this on a pivot of some sort, mounting in the truck, and be able to manage driving the truck and in traffic and adjust your camera... That's a distraction. That's not something you really want to be doing, especially as a professional driver. You don't want to be screwing around playing with your camera while you're driving. So, yeah, there's been issues. But performance as it is intended, absolutely incredible. My expectations or what I'm trying to use it for um, is my fault. You know, I can't expect it to do something that it can't, you know. So, I have no problems whatsoever. I think GoPro is a freaking amazing camera. It records everything well. The volume and sound microphone is great, especially when you, I have this uh, external little part here. That uh, it's the media mod that has a front-facing uh, boom microphone here does a great job but more so for action if I would like to mount it which I can on a strap that goes on my hat or on my head or on my chest or something like that and go that way with it you can't beat it mounting in the truck leaves some things to be desired for what I'm trying to get out of it but I love it would not sell it would not get rid of it. I will continue to use it. So don't don't get me wrong. I just don't use it as much as I had originally intended. All right. So the other thing. Not really necessary as being a trucker. You don't really have to have one of these. But can be useful. Very useful. Is a laptop. Now laptops can be big and bulky and kind of a pain to lug around because they're not exactly the lightest thing in the world. My tablet is so much lighter, very much easier for uh, doing quick things or just chilling. But the laptop does have some real advantages to it. And as you can see, as I'm raising the lid here, I bought me an Alienware. Now, I like the Alienware. It's a good brand. It's a very good computer. Hang on just a second here. All right. So I got the Alienware M15. And it is designed to not only handle business type applications, but it's also designed more as a gamer PC, which I am a gamer. So I, I do enjoy having the capability 
to be on the road. And if I can connect myself up to a good Wi-Fi, or I can use my trusty handy-dandy tablet there and turn it into a hotspot, and then use my laptop to connect to the Internet, I can get in and play my games. So, uh, now, that being said, of course, the other thing you need to have is a really good way to transport everything. I highly recommend getting one of those um, upper-end, higher-end backpacks that are designed for laptops. And then there's so much space in those things. You can load in your laptop, your cooling pad, your tablet, your phones, your your headsets, speakers, cameras. You can put it all in there. And then you have all your electronics in one bag. You know, that's quick to grab and throw over your shoulder and take with you. And then you, I personally use two backpacks. I have another backpack, a larger size backpack that I load up with all of my toiletries and clothes and things of that sort. So when I have to come off the truck, I have all of my charging stuff and all my electronics in one bag, all my clothes and toiletries and things in another bag. There's two bags. I can come off the truck. I can be off the truck for quite a while until I run out of clothes and have to either do laundry or go back to the truck, one or the other. So that's how I get by. My gizmos and gadgets, excuse me, gizmos and gadgets that help me get by um with my life on the road now a lot of people in their trucks they set up all kinds of things they have things for cooking they have tvs and playstations and xboxes and you know stereos they all there's all kinds of things that you can actually set up in a truck but this is my setup this is what i use if i want movies or or music or whatever games there it is i've got it i've got everything i need right there and I can throw it all in one little backpack and take it with me. All right. So that's it. Just wanted to kind of share that with you. I'm going to be down at least uh, tonight, as far as I know. be spending at least one more night uh, here in Carlisle waiting for my truck. And, you know, in the hotel room, I got free Wi-Fi. So I'm having a good time. All right, guys. That's going to be the video. And hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you know anybody who's interested in this kind of content, please uh, share it to them. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.